Good day to you. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, that song by Fountains of Wayne that's called Stacy's Mom, um, which is the most American way of saying mum. Uh, it was released in 2003, and I've never really listened to it apart from one time when um, I was asked to write a, write a song that sounded a bit like it. Um, for another band who shall remain nameless until I get into the main meat of this article. Justin Hawkins rides again. And then I'll tell all. Again. Yeah. Okay, so the band was Five Seconds of Summer. <laughs> Um, anyway, so the subject matter of uh, Stacy's mom um, was inspired by a friend of Adam, who was the bassist, uh, when he was young, who was attracted to Adam's grandmother. I, personally, I don't believe that. I think it's... I reckon Adam may have had a, a fascination for uh, an octogenarian. Is that what they're called? A lady in her 80s? Is that, is that the word? Yeah, no, but I'm just... Get, I, I know she might not have been in her 80s, but I'm just saying, that's what I think. <laughs> I mean, of course, there's nothing... There's no basis for that other than the fact that I wanted to say octogenarian. Um, it is a power pop song with which the group hoped to emulate the sound of American rock band The Cars. I love The Cars. I really do. Um, Fountains of Wayne formed in New York in 1995. <laughs> they released five albums from 1996 to 2011 before effectively disbanding in 13. They're considered power pop, pop punk, or geek rock. I don't know what geek rock is. Brilliant. Loafers and um, trousers that are just way too long. Uh, could be Frankie Poulain's feet there. Thought it would be an E. Oh yeah, okay, so that's Stab, that's like, um, what's that Carl's song that, that sounds like? Then, <laughs> what's that Carl's song? You know the one I'm talking about? So yeah, the arrangement's really similar to Just What I Needed, which is a brilliant Cars record. Stacy's mom has got it going on. Stacy's mom has got it going on. Hmm, simple. E A B A. Simple. Interesting pre-chorus, it has this... Seems to be G sharp, and then A, and I thought it was going to go... and resolve on a B, but it doesn't, just like... Oh, what's that bit? Did you hear that interesting chord? It's all pretty... straight until it gets to that... that weird chord there. I think it's this. Oh, okay. So throughout that chorus, it's kind of like it's going A E B C sharp minor, and then for that weird one where it has a, a strange sort of passing note of, of immense suspense, it's here. It's one of those ones um, where it's it's kind of like the root between the B and the C sharp is there, but the rest of the chord is the B. Is it? It's one of those um, one of those chords that makes a promise to the ear, like I talked about in the 1975 one recently. Because it's got to go here, or no, it's got to go here. So it's pulling you up. You know where it's going, but it's, but it's still jars. 
It makes the chorus really interesting. Okay, so then the last bit is the... A, B, 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 B. I really like this, uh, the arrangement has got like, um, so what's that line there? My mum came out with just a towel on, oh, 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 a towel on. I'd love to be the person that has that backing vocal line. A towel on. A towel on. Oh, sorry, I got it wrong. That's my bad. Forgive me. Towel on. Key change! It's happening! Sometimes you get those really cheesy key changes that are just like, um... They go up a semitone. So it would be like, um... Uh, trying to think of a good example of one. Um, I just called to say I love you and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I just called to say I love you. You know, like that, that's a semitone up and it has that sort of cheesy. It's, that's the cheesiest of all. And then there's ones that, that I think, um, uh, there's one in uh, Living on a Prayer that's a tone, that's two semitones up, I think. Um, but this seems to be a key change of three semitones. It's scarcely heard of. I mean, listen to that. Actually, when you look at the way that uh, the, the chords are voiced on the guitar, it probably... It makes the most sense in terms of it's probably the easiest way to play it. That's how some people write songs. They think about where the key change is going to end up. And then that's how they, they go for the most comfortable sort of voicing in terms of fingers and, and vocals and everything. And then they work back from that. I've seen that before. So... But it's weird, that three semitones up, you don't see that very often. This is the most powerful part. Remember this. I love that. Lovely. Stacy's mum. Well, I think it's um, it's a brilliant backing vocal arrangement for a start. It makes it sound really. It's really lush, isn't it, once it kicks off? The arrangement that they're copying is from the first Cars album, The Cars, and it was produced by. Roy Thomas Baker, who obviously produced um, a lot of uh, the Queen stuff, the Queen's, the Queen best stuff, really, the Bohemian Rhapsody and um, Night of the Opera, Jazz, Sheer Heart Attack, Queen's One and Two, I think. Um, he's one of my favourite producers, and he invented that sort of um, high dynamic, but actually reduced and. Anyway, the, I think he said that they recorded, they recorded that first Cars album in about two weeks and then later when uh, Mutt Langer was trying to produce the Cars on that album that had uh, things like Who's gonna drive you home tonight? Um, I think he struggled to um, achieve the, the, the sonic signature that Roy Thomas Baker had established with that first Cars record and was asking Roy Thomas Baker to be kind of 
a consultant of some sort and ask him for his advice on how he did it. And I think Roy Thomas Baker replied, well, we just re recorded it. <laughs> you know, it took two weeks. Um, and for that to then be the template for the, the most famous Fountains of Wayne song, what, how many years is, later is that? 30, 30 years later, maybe nearly 30 years later. Um, just shows you how brilliant the cars were in the first place. Um, so arrangement-wise, if it has any sort of air of familiarity to that early sort of Cars album, then it's always going to sound brilliant. It's got a great backing vocal arrangement and a really interesting chord in the chorus, which is that one. That sets it apart from other stuff that, uh, you know, without that, the inclusion of that sort of weird voicing, you might, um, you might be forgiven for thinking it's a little bit middle of the road. Um, but it has just enough interest in it to make it not that. Um, and it was a massive hit because it's just a really well written song that sounds like The Cars. And The Cars is brilliant. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch one of these two videos, listen to The Cars first record. It's awesome. And so's Fountains of Wayne. <laughs> nice one guys. See you on the ice. <laughs>